Hi, Christina here again. We're going to look at timelines and settings. It's easy to write scenes where the reader doesn't have a clear view of the timeline or the setting. This loses readers, so we want to make sure every scene is vivid. We do this by looking at the story elements. This is the opening image for the story, so the reader must be able to visualize it. We're going to get the story map to help us with this. We'll select the journey step. This step is timeline and setting. You can see the story map has clearly updated here. For scene one, the sights are abstract. There are no smells, sounds, or tastes. There is touch. The location is a funeral, but the lack of senses shows us the reader won't be able to visualize this. The time is the first day of the story, and that's fine. With the lack of senses, it means the scene needs revision. We need to add use of senses so the reader can see and feel this scene. Scene two in evolution is the inciting incident. The location is split. It's early morning, but it's not clear what time it is in relation to the previous scene. This tells us we have to revise the scene to make that clear. Scene three is getting a little better. So we won't revise this scene for the setting on our first pass of revisions. Now it's your turn. Go to the evaluate page and update the setting and timing story elements. This will give you an objective opinion on if setting is a strength for you, or if you need to evaluate every scene for these story elements.